And we got uh, Ring of Honor to talk about tonight, because that's what we decided to do this evening. Right, Vinny? It is. There's my... <laughs> it is. Hey, I'm on. You know what we don't have here is the best in the world. How dare you? Especially the guy behind the board. All right. Don't say that about Jared. I've never seen such a handsome man put so much work into being ugly. Jay Briscoe is one of the guys. He's ugly, and he uh, looks like it. <laughs> this is the worst show we've ever done. I... <laughs> what a superficial, horrible review this is. You know, Flip Gordon's a heel now, and so he doesn't do any flips. <laughs> he's like uh, Stan Gordon. I guess it's like Grapple his new... Gordon. He just stood there for like another 10 minutes with this giant yeah. gob of goo. He had more goo on his face than Alexa did at WrestleMania. Get that drop. Dak Draper. Yes, who looked exactly like a Dak Draper. <laughs> Somehow he did. You've never seen Dak Draper, and you're like, what does Dak Draper look like? Well, close your eyes, imagine some dude named Dak Draper, and there you go. You got him. This giant man with curly fries for hair. I, I don't know how to describe <laughs> Craig clearly comes from a straight-haired family. Brian, have you ever seen my hair when it was long? <laughs> Give me a break. It was pretty curly, actually. It was somewhat curly. Yeah. I would say it was more wavy. <laughs> oh, dear God. Caprice Coleman compared it to a video game and said, usually in a video game, your life bar starts, starts out green. Jay Lethals is in red, and his body is blinking. <laughs> I was watching him way back when he still had real estate left on his torso to tattoo. <laughs> yes. If I ever have my own promotion, I'm not going to have the Pure Wrestling Championship. I'm going to have the Stiff Fucker Championship. <laughs> and these men are going to fight for the for the inaugural show. They were rushing. Oh, yes. Rushing yes. through this show. I believe it's pronounced rushing. <laughs> they, uh, they were rushing through this show. They stomp a mud hole and bandied over 60 seconds and pose over him and the show goes off the air. Mm -hmm. That was rushed. You tell me it was rushed. It was. We do Observer Live, which has commercial breaks. And, like, without fail, instead of drinking during the commercial break, as soon as I start talking, he goes... <laughs> I think he thinks it doesn't get picked up on the mic or something like that. But it's like every single time, without fail. Pick a name for Brian, Vinny, Craig, and Granny's bowling team. Granny and the Pinheads. It's not bad. But it's, I don't think you can say that in 2021. I don't think it's right to call someone a Pinhead anymore. Guilt by association. <laughs> That's good. You know what mine was? What was yours? Three, three, stri three strikes and a gutter. <laughs> three <laughs> strikes you and a gutter. You're trying to one over there? No game scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that popped Granny. That's weird. I don't even get it. I don't either. That's why it's funny. <laughs> bowl out the barrel. Oh, mm. now nah, I don't think we're going to top bowl out the barrel. Norfolk and Chance. Excuse mm. me? Norfolk and Chance? Yes. What does that even mean? Say it fast. Oh. <laughs> you can actually see <laughs> yeah. the steam. You can, bit. you can see that no, there's no steam. Uh, the, 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 Just the, wheels the turning. The gears grinding, yes, yes. Yeah. I don't have a steam engine for a brain, Vinny. That would be an upgrade. Who is uh, Deb S-H-A-E? Deb S-H-A-E? Somebody mentioned up something about her coming back or something. Deb Shea? Corbin, attack <laughs> knock him on the outside ring. Knock him. Nakamura. Corbin has na Nakamura by leg. Well, I've been watching a lot of accordion playing on my computer. <laughs> oh, yeah? A lot of it. Yeah. There's an easier way to do this, Vinny. Will you send me the link, you idiot? <laughs> Rock kicks out, and the Rock kicking out of her pin hurts Stephanie's back. I don't want to be that guy, but like she has enormous breasts. Okay, it puts a lot of strain on the lower back. Rock did sure. point this out earlier in the show as yes. well. Yes, Tuesday night's NXT, seven hundred seven thousand viewers, point one nine in eighteen to forty nine. All up in NXT. AW Dynamite. 1.025 million viewers. Good gravy. And an 0.40 in 1849. The number one segment in viewers was actually the Britt Baker promo. This may be the most impressive number from any show that I've seen all year. Mm -hmm. Because they went head-to-head -head with Game 4 of the NBA Finals, and they did over a million viewers for this show. I don't know how. <laughs> I love AEW, but I don't know how. But they did. Poor Gigi Dolan is laying in the ropes, and Sarai runs at her and kicks her head off with both of her feet. 
Dude, this was the scariest running sliding drop kick I may ever saw in my life. He's big, he says. He has True. Big, big biceps. True. And he claims to have the best backside in the business. I don't know about that. Did he watch the previous segment? And I know that people think that I hate Dexter Loomis. I don't hate Dexter Loomis. Actually, I do hate Dexter Loomis, but I don't hate Sam Shaw. Wade Barrett interviews Kyle O'Reilly. This guy does not ever seem like he is comfortable talking. <laughs> he's, he's a weird, quirky dude. Maybe he should have been Dexter Loomis. Hmm, uh, that's... Wow. I can see Kyle O'Reilly growing a creepy mustache. She just fucking hit him as hard as she could in the side of the head. Then she starts kicking this guy as hard as she can. Of course, the fans cheer because they're seeing a murder. And then she totally, like, breaks character and starts celebrating and waving goodbye because she's out of here. That was something to see. That Aaliyah celebration there at the end. <laughs> he hits Ellie Knight with the rake, and Ellie Knight goes into the pool. He sure did. They knew all of the tricks to pull to get these segments over, and none of them gets over more than a man bumping into water. I did not see Cross as his big-time heel for attacking poor Samoa Joe from behind. This was not poor Samoa Joe. This was a guy that was like, all night, I'm gonna before this night's over, I'm going to have the champion attack me, so I have a reason to go after him. The character of Samoa Joe is better at building matches than anyone else in NXT. Well, that's for sure. If I try to think of four weeks after Paisley was born, going and doing a match on national television, that would have been a fucking disaster. He's got his tank top on, his great tan, and his hair. Every heel needs to aspire to this hairdo right here. It's fantastic. But then my man Hook takes the ref. Hobbs hits Cage with the belt. Starks hits a spear and wins. Place goes apeshit. Cody's got to leave again. To film the Go Big Show. Oh, how about that? So not only could Black win, he could win and lay out and destroy Cody and put him on the shelf again. There's a shark being ridden by something, and the shark is vomiting a rainbow. And the rainbow is spilling down onto his shorts. <laughs> I have no idea what anyone said or did for the next 30 seconds, because I cannot look at anything else but what Nick Jackson was wearing. And I could not figure out the finish. And these are two great workers. But it was so weird. Like, it was like Christian's crawling and he gets in the ring. Like, he was on his back, flat, dead as a doornail when they got to nine. And then he just leaps in the ring and hits the move and wins. I was like, what was that? He was playing possum. He was? He was? Catching his breath. Uh, it was weird. There's a point here. Where she holds up the title and says, With this, I am the hottest thing in pro wrestling. Like, goddamn right you are. If you remember when Britt Baker was a babyface before, she's a thousand times better as a heel. That's actually a very good point. So we're running into an issue right here, which yeah. is she does this promo and she does a DMD thing, and there's 5,000 fans loudly chanting DMD along with her. They're going to Pittsburgh soon. She's going to be the biggest. She could she could wrestle Jungle Boy on that show. She'd be cheered. She threatens to get the biggest, largest jalapeno and shove it up your ass. Is that what she said, jalapeno? I'm pretty sure she said jalapeno. I rewound this like 10 times trying to figure out what is she going to shove up Britt Baker's ass? Very important. A jalapeno? As far as I can tell. Horrible. Darby goes to the top rope, looks behind him. From the top rope, goes flying up and down, 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 down. Does he coffin drop to and through the coffin? In case you're wondering, there's no big cushy pad in between Darby and Ethan. He just squished him. Look at how many guys they've got over. And or women, obviously, because he's got Britt Baker. Yeah. These people are so over. And, of course, you could argue, well, it's the first, you know, touring show with fans. You know, maybe in five weeks the fans won't be so nutty. Maybe they won't. I liked NXT. I loved AEW. Sounds familiar. AEW wins. Sounds like we've said this many times over the last couple of Yeah, weeks. but I think in, in both shows were much better than usual this week. Yeah. I would Especially say, AEW. I would not quite say it was a 10-8, but it was an easy 10-9. I would say it was an 11-10. So there you go. Dynamite wins tonight.